What is the script for you? What does your voice tell you? How are you talking yourself out of gigs? And it's important that you start to identify how it's showing up so that you, you can see when it's showing up. Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn. Welcome back to another Motivation Monday episode of the Hollywood Bound Actor Podcast. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's what I say when I want to draw things to me. I just claim it. I see it. And I just say, yes. Thank you. Thank you more, please. In advance, in, in advance, because as soon as I can see it in my mind's eye, it exists and it is on its way to me. So I'm saying the same thing for you. Listen, today I want to just talk about, this will be quick, I think. <laughs> I want you to stop talking yourself out of gigs. What do you mean, Christine? Sometimes you get an audition. Look, I have been here. So I only speak, just so you know, any of these episodes, are all coming from a place of, uh, I've been there. <laughs> and this is what I did to work on it. And I want to pass it on to you. So you get an audition and then you read the breakdown, you read the script. And then you say to yourself, do they mean to send that to me? <sighs> Eight pages. Oh, I don't know. I can do four, make three, maybe yeah, do tomorrow. Oh no. Oh my gosh. And then the freak out starts to happen. The anxiety starts to happen. The second guessing, the worthiness, all the things. And here's another one that I personally like, and I'm saying that jokingly. When you start to cast someone else instead of you, you say, oh, you read it. You're like, uh-huh, uh-huh. You know who will be good for this? Janique. Oh, Karen will be good for that. No, Saycon will be good for that. No, Shellis will be good for that. No, no. Why do they call me? You know who sound that? That sounds exactly like blank. That is all ways you are talking yourself out of the gig before you even started it. So only you know what you do. Right? Only you know what you do. I'm sharing some of mine. So ask yourself, how do I talk myself out of gigs? The gigs that come in your inbox, whether you self-submitted or whether your team submitted for you, and you have that hesitation and that voice, again, my name is, my voice's name is Veronica. I don't know what yours is, but I know Veronica's script. What is the script for you? What does your voice tell you? How are you talking yourself out of gigs? And it's important that you start to identify how it's showing up so that you, you can see when it's showing up. You could be like, oh, I always do that. Why do I keep, why do I keep casting someone else when they sent the audition to me? That's a prime example, prime example. So that's all I got to say today. You, I want you to think about when was the last time you talked yourself out of a gig? You say you want it, you say you're excited, but then all of a sudden when it shows up, you're casting someone else in your head or you're talking yourself out of it. It's self-sabotage, all these things and all that negative energy. If you do decide to still go through with the audition, you're carrying all that baggage, all that negative energy with you. And then you wonder why you don't book it. It's because you, the way you even showed up just wasn't, wasn't hundred percent. You were distracted by so many other things and stories that you made up in your head. And so I want to just help you do the work and guide you toward really dissecting that. Like, you know, so much of booking and succeeding in this industry is not even about half the time. It's not just about lack of opportunity because we can get opportunities and then squander them because we're in our head and we're just making up stories and we just, and look, we're artists. So we're good at telling stories. So we be telling us like, telling ourselves a good old bad story and rehearsing that story. Like we, like we memorize scripts. You think you have trouble memorizing, but you have, you don't have no trouble memorizing that sad story. You telling yourself about how unworthy you are or how, how much talent you don't have. So let's flip the script today. Let's write a new story and identify. And now you may not be able to do this until the next audition comes in. And it might not even happen until the next audition you feel that's a bit out of your league comes in. And that's okay. But when it does, really tap in, be aware of what is happening within you, how you feel about it, how you prep for it, some of the things you say to yourself in the process, and you'll get your answer. And it'll help you work from that place to find a healthier space to approach your work. I hope that helps and I hope this resonates with you because this is a game changer. We have to really just own and forgive ourselves for that chitter chatter. That's just so unhealthy, but it's okay. 
We're going to get back up again, start with the new fresh energy and intention and all will be well. Can you say that with me? All will be well. Yes. All right. Well, have an amazing week. I'm so happy to connect with you. Make sure you come on and tag me, tag this episode, take a screenshot of this episode, tag me on Instagram at actress Christine Horn so I can see you and celebrate you and encourage you. And uh, just remember, if you are looking for actual, you know, acting support. Uh, We have an amazing community at Hollywood Bound Actors. So if you're not a part of that Facebook group, come on and join us. I do lives in there, all kinds of special stuff in here that you won't get on the podcast. And if you do get it on the podcast, it's usually later, right? Because I've repurposed it. So come join our community if you haven't. I want to be able to connect with you in there. And that way, if you do need more help with either booking television or coaching in another way, we can be connected in that way. And then my team can guide you in the right direction. All right, have an amazing day and I'll see you next week. Bye.